All right, folks, I'm going to start off with a little experiment here with uh, buffers. I'm going to use an indicator. It's a green indicator. At least it starts looking that way. Put a few drops in some water here. I'm using distilled water. And this particular indicator uh, happens to be green at uh, acid pHs, yellow at neutral pHs, and red at basic pHs. I'm going to just pour it back and forth here a little bit, get the color going. There we go. And we can see that the water is slightly acid, which I'd expect because, you know, water in uh, equilibrium with the air is going to have some carbon dioxide dissolved in it. I got this food coloring, by the way, this indicator from this special type of food coloring that's advertised with no artificial dyes, and I'm using the green food coloring. So this is not your normal green food coloring. To this other uh, glass of distilled water, I'm going to add an Alka-Seltzer tablet. And I'm going to let this run for a little while. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some experiments with our indicator that's been added to the water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of some ammonia, and I'm going to add some ammonia to this indicator spoon-wise. So I'm just going to add one little spoon here. Oh boy, look at that. It looks like we already got a color change to red, which we'd expect because, you know, ammonia is a base. And so by adding ammonia to some water, I would expect to see a change in pH. And indeed we do. We see a change to a basic color. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use the Alka-Seltzer water. So the water to which some Alka-Seltzer has been added. Let me go ahead and add the indicator. And now we'll repeat the experiment. I'm going to go ahead and add a spoonful of ammonia to my water that has had Alka-Seltzer added to it. Well, that's quite a difference. I don't see a color change. Not much of a color change. Let's keep adding some ammonia. Let's see, that was one scoop. There's another scoop. Three scoops. Four scoops. Five scoops. Six scoops. How many think it's going to take? Seven scoops. I might see a shift in yellow. I forgot. What am I on? I don't know, eight scoops, I'm guessing. Yeah, I see a shift in yellow. Nine scoops. I've added 10 times the amount of ammonia, roughly. Let's add another one just to be sure. Look at that. I've added 10 times the amount of ammonia just to get me to, you know, roughly a neutral pH. Just go ahead and add the rest and see what happens here. There we go. Finally got to that red color. And in this case, what the... Alka-Seltzer and water mixture is acting like is called a buffer.